Good afternoon and welcome to our quiz yet again. We're on quiz three points. Oh, let's hope that Colin will be better than last week. So uh, let's crack on with the quiz. Tonight's quiz, we shall be having five categories of TV, film, music, history and general knowledge. You Don't have... we have history last week? No, you had geography last week. Did we? Yes. Oh, okay. Each question, you shall have ten seconds to answer each one. Good luck. Right, category one, television. In what year did Coronation Street first air on ITV? Are we having a countdown? Yeah. Five. Not just the one she was just staring. Four. Three. Two. One. Next question. Which entertainment show featured the phrase, Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be... Ah. Oh. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ant and Deck first worked together on which children's TV drama? Which British TV show? Recorded the largest audience for a single episode with over 30 million viewers. Can you, re can you read that again, please? Slower. Which British TV show recorded the largest audience for a single episode with over 30 million viewers? What type of animal is Sooty the Bear's girlfriend, Sue? I don't know, we had a girlfriend. <laughs> Category you are. number two, music. What does the O stand for in the band name ELO? Never even heard of them. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, <laughs> seven, six, five, four, three, You're two, one. <laughs> According to the punk rockers Green Day, at the end of which month would I like to be woken up? Lisa and I have got one right. Ten, <laughs> nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Which novelty act had a Christmas number one in 2000 with Can We Fix It? Eight, seven, uh, that's a cheat, that's a <laughs> point off. I'm trying to help that. So, have you got a point off there? No. You're minus one already? No, we are. Yes, you are. No, we are. Seven, trying to help her. Six, five, four, three, two, one. What's the name of the 1957 musical prison drama starring Elvis Presley? I like his songs, Ten, I like what he's... Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Which talent show judge managed Westlife? The next category is movies. Which Alfred Hitchcock thriller is notorious for its shocking shower scene? Uh, uh. Which show about Danny and Sandy was married into a film with Dan John Travolta and Olivia Newton John? Oh. Who played Jack in Titanic? Uh, 13. We've just done 13. No, we're on 13. We're on 13. Oh, we're on 13 now. What is the name of Jack Sparrow's ship? Oh, yeah. Where did Harry Potter go to school? <laughs> History. Ah. Uh -uh. Good luck. Which British archaeologist discovered Tutankhamun's tomb? Who discovered the wreckage of the Titanic? Which British king suffered from a stammer as portrayed by Colin Firth in The King's Speech?
Which pilot famously fought in the Battle of Britain with two artificial legs? Which ship is notorious for experiencing the bloodiest mutiny in British naval history? Hint, it's also a name of a Harry Potter character. Don't you laugh behind the camera, he's laughing. Can we have a little bit more time please, because this is a hard one. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two. I don't know if you'll be able to uh, read that. Last category: general knowledge. I'm going to do better than history. What is the name of Anna and Elsa's kingdom in Frozen? Complete the lyrics from Mulan's "I'll be, I'll make a man out of you." Be a man with all the strength of a raging fire, mysterious as the dark side of. Where was <laughs> Cliff Richard born? Oh, you're talking to Cliff! <laughs> uh. If you won't die on all this, I'll cry. Cliff Richard appeared in which <laughs> 1959 film? Come on, Ed, you should know this. I'm quite shocked I've got it written down quicker than Mom. The last question of this quiz, what is technically the tallest mountain on Earth? Mm. And that is the end of the quiz. Please swap your papers mm. and we'll answer them shortly. Answer time. Category <laughs> number one. In what year did Coronation Street first air on ITV? Can I answer first because mine's probably wrong anyway, so mum's probably got it right. Oh, yeah. Oh, we'll Mom's, start with Carla. Mum said 1960. Hello? Carla said 1946. Your mum was correct, 1960. Oh, that's a big guess. Oh, I knew I'd get it wrong. Which well, entertainment that. show featured the phrase, Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be... Oh, yeah, that was it! I couldn't think of it! And we'll start with Heather. <laughs> Who do you think you are? <laughs> See my face on camera now. <laughs> You'd be ashamed. You'd be ashamed. Mum put stars in your eyes, which is right. Correct. Yeah. Considering we always used to watch it. It's brilliant. <laughs> Ant and Deck first worked together on which like children's to TV drama? Like oh, yes, sorry. You, it's the next one you missed. Yeah, Biker Grove. What do you call it? Biker Grove. Biker Grove. Yay! I nearly put. Oh, I spelled it wrong. We both spelled it wrong. I nearly put um, Gr Granger Road or something like that, and then it comes to me. Granger, like, oh, yeah, we're thinking of. Uh, yeah. Granger. Granger. Yeah. Which British TV show recorded the largest audience for a single episode with 30 million views? Mum, don't answer. Mrs. Brown's Clues. No. Oh, no it was EastEnders. Really? Um, you know, um, it was Christmas Day when someone got shot. Oh, uh, okay. Mm. What type of animal is Sooty the Bear's girlfriend, Sue? <laughs> Mum put... What? What are you laughing at? We'll start with Carla. Mum put Panda. Ella? <laughs> A duck. <laughs> panda. Mum oh, got it right. Because Sooty was my favourite well, brother. I think Mum might win this one. <laughs> <laughs> Category number two, music. I think Mum might win this one. Category number two, music. What I does the O stand for in E L? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can say it on camera. Keep it clean, please. It is clean. Mum didn't answer that one. What did you put? <laughs> did you read it? It balls. No. What? <laughs> Ebola. Because didn't that start with an E as in Ebola? Yeah, E. No, what does the O, o stand for? Ebola. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I put O. No, it's not. Oh, the E! The e, 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 answer is Orchestra Electric Lights Orchestra. How the hell should we know that? I don't even get the right letter. Right, 
According to the punk rockers, green that mm. at the end of which month would they like to be welcomed up? Um, Mum put December. September. September. Wake me up. Well, it is now. When it's... September ends. Right, next question. <laughs> which novelty <laughs> app had a Christmas dump <laughs> ride? Oh my god, can we stop a minute? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> carry on, carry on, this is what to do with the answer I thought. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I might have got it wrong. No. Did you ask when did the wake up? <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> wake me up when September ends. Yes, yeah, so technically they want to be welcome up in October. So we've all got it wrong. That's what it says in the quiz. Okay, okay, it's all good. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Woo. Next. <laughs> Which novelty act had a Christmas number one in 2000 with Can We Fix It? Mom, dying answer. Carla? Heather. Heather. <laughs> what was. Um, we're on eight. Bob the Builder. Correct. Hey! Um, <laughs> can he fix it? Yes, he can. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. What's no. the name of the 1957 musical prison drama starring Elvis Presley? Monday Lanza. Prisoner Scout. Both co- incorrect. It was Jailhouse Rock. Oh, I was going to yeah. put that, but I thought, hang on, that's the, the song, think, I was thinking of Summer Holiday, but that was after. That was more of a... If after after that one, after that. That's not Elvis Presley. That's not Elvis Presley. That's Cliff Richard. We're on a bit Elvis at the mini. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've got no fags, she's come got, on. She's got no yeah. fags. She's a bit desperate, she don't know where she is. As rolling grass at the mini. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, next. What okay. I think talent show judge managed Westlife? Lily Walsh. Lily Walsh. Correct. Hey! I've got one right. Movies. Which Alfred Hitchcock thriller is notorious for its shocking shower scene? Oh, she's sweet by the side. Psycho. <laughs> Correct, Psycho. I spelt it wrong, though. Andy, well. Now that's what I mean, I've spelt it wrong. Which show about Danny and Sandy was married into a film Wait, with John Travolta that. and Olivia uh, Newton and John? We both said Grease, but. Think about it. Danny and Sandy. Yeah. Just Grease. Yeah, but. No, but the way it said which show, so I was thinking maybe it's not actually called Grease as a show. So it's all both right. Oh. Who played Jack in Titanic? Leonardo DiCaprio. Wrong guy, I'm sorry. I couldn't think of it. Yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio. I nearly put Da Vinci. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which? No, Leonardo DiCaprio. What is the name of Jack Sparrow's ship? Mom, guy, I'm sorry. The Black Pearl. I couldn't think of it. Which school did Harry Potter go to? Hogwarts. Hogwarts. Correct. <laughs> Category four, history. Let's see how well you've done in this one. Well, Mum's definitely answered more than me. Right. Which British archaeologist discovered Tutankhamun's tomb? His mum. Mum, mum put me dad. <laughs> and I put his mum. <laughs> Both incorrect. It was Howard Carter. <laughs> the archaeologist. I think I'm a fag. <laughs> Who discovered the wreckage of the Titanic? Mom didn't answer. The divers. Close, but it was Robert Ballard. For an extra point, what year was it sank? Nineteen. Nine. It was in the nineteen twenties, wasn't it? No, it was before that one. Hang on, they got on the boat in, nine, was it 1920? Why are you laughing? Is it wrong? 1918? No. 1911? No. 1900? No. 18 and something? No. 1912, it sank. Okay, I was still in the 1900s. Oh, what was it? A boil? No, there were. Where did the board then? Was it 1912? 19... It only sank a few days after it set oh, well, yeah, off. It, it was it five days, four About days? Three or four days yeah. later it sank. Oh. It hit an iceberg. Mm. Okay, we're wrong anyway. <laughs> right. Which king suffered from a stammer as portrayed by Colin Firth in the King's Speech? Mom put King George, is that the, the fifth? Yeah, King George the fifth. 
George the second. King George? Yeah. You've got it the wrong way round. I know. <laughs> and there was one come before me. Anyway, she's got it right. So Next. It's the Queen, so it was... Um, I got George anyway. I couldn't put another name. Which <laughs> pilot famously falls in the Battle of Britain with two artificial legs? And you should know this because we've been to a few cost of the moon. Just because I should know it, don't mean I do know it. <laughs> um, Mum, don't answer. Liz, Oh. Liz, <laughs> <Lisa> Dr. Ross. <laughs> no, I'll just pull over and copy Incorrect, it was Douglas at Barber. Oh, well, no, it's not you, yeah. Next question. Which ship is notorious for experiencing the bloodiest mutiny in British naval history? There's a hint, also the name of a Harry Potter character. Oh, let's put Madfoy. Come down, answer it. Hi, Chimess. How are you? Last category general knowledge. Okay. Are we on 21? Yes. Okay, it's alright. Mum's only got four questions, so. What is the name of Anna and Elsa's kingdom in Frozen? Mum didn't answer again. Fender. Fender. No, it's an E. Arendelle. 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 Arendelle, yeah, that's it. Complete the lyrics from Mulan. I'll make a man out of you. Be a man <laughs> with all the strength of a rising fire. Mysterious as the dark side. Oh, <laughs> Mum put crap question. <laughs> The Great Typhoon. The oh. Moon. Oh, uh, the Dark Side oh, of the Moon. Question. Yeah, I got it wrong. Next question. Where was Sir Cliff Richard born? India. I got, I got it wrong, so you got to... What have you No, no, no. That one I got wrong. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Where India. was Cliff Richard born? India. Where's that? India. India. Cliff Richard appeared in which 1959 film? I put Summer Holiday in Summer's Mum. Summer Holiday! Oh, it is. I didn't think it was up to early. Final the question. The only one I know. Like, Final. as in his film. Oi! Oi, oh, yourself, bitch! Quiz. The final question. What is technically the tallest mountain on Earth? Would you like time to involve both of us? Everest. We both put Everest. Mount Everest. Oh, we put it right. Did you get 25 out of 25? <laughs> we definitely die. <laughs> Carla, what did you score? I'll let Mum go first. No, I said you first. I, I'd like Mum to go first because it's it's going to be a milestone for her. <laughs> <laughs> 12 out of 25. Hey, she got double points from last week. And Carla, what did you get? 14. Oh, very good. Yeah. Two more than I know, shocked. So, of course, there's two Disney questions. Yeah, yeah that's what I've done for me. I got the Disney. Oh, I only got one Disney. No, you don't. Sorry. I Mulan only got. No, I don't get Mulan right. Oh, yeah. No, I said the great tofu. Thank you for joining us for afternoon quiz. Uh, Carla won by two points. Heather doubled up on her score by six points this time. Join us next week for more fun and games. Half of the quiz master might read the questions out the right way around. Please love it, like, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. See you next week. Bye.